This is a ThinkPad X220. It, of course, is one of the X series uh, ThinkPads, uh, which are supposed to be ultra portable, ultra small. Um, so this is, I don't know if you can get a good gauge or how big it is, but it, it's pretty portable. Uh, I think it weighs at max, even with the battery, maybe around three pounds or so, uh, not much more than that. Um, but one of the things, one of the problems I run into is that, you know, I have a whole lot of files. I have like somewhere I have, you know, movies and TV shows and all the stuff that I want to keep everywhere. Um, and so it's sort of hard to keep everything in one hard drive based on the hard drive specifications that are out there nowadays. Uh, and I also want to have a solid state drive in this machine because it runs faster. Uh, but of course, solid state drives aren't going to be able to hold the same amount of uh, gigage. Um, so this machine has a hard drive uh, port. I have a one gig or one terabyte, excuse me, uh, one terabyte solid state drive in here. And this is the only, uh, you know, hard drive port that we have on this computer. Some ThinkPads will actually have, uh, you know, other ones on the other side that you can put in. Uh, but the X series is supposed to be small. Uh, and as a corollary of that, they only have this. They don't even have a, a CD drive or anything like that. Um, so I have one gig on here, but I have about two, nearly, you know, one and a half other gigs, or excuse me, terabyte, so I'm talking at the wrong scale. Uh, I have about one and a half uh, other terabyte of, you know, data that I want to keep. I, would, I don't need it all the time, uh, but I need it, you know, at least some of the time, and I don't want to carry it around in, the, in an external drive. Um, so the solution I found to this um, is actually pretty simple. It's simply a ThinkPad uh, UltraBase. So these things are useful in general. Um, you might see these and be a little confused because, you know, they add some ports, but none of these ports uh, are, you know, aren't on the ThinkPad itself. You know, they have a VGA port, Display Port, stuff like that. The ThinkPad has all of these already, uh, but UltraBase is uh, even before talking about the extra storage space you can put in. Um, they're really nice just to, you know, keep this at your house have a bunch of wires plugged in. When you get home, you just take your ThinkPad, you throw it on there, great, now all your wires are automatically connected. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so that's nice in general. But the great thing about these is normally, um, if you have an X-Series ThinkPad, these are nice because they actually add a CD drive. But I don't actually have a CD drive in here. Uh, you can easily take them out and replace them. Uh, so let me actually take this out. Now, it's not a CD drive, as you will see. Uh, it is actually, I need two hands for a second. Um, what you can actually get is you can get an ultra slim uh, hard drive caddy and put that in. And you'll see here I have a two terabyte hard drive on this thing. Um, so basically, I keep all of my movies and my um, like TV shows and stuff on this. And, you know, when I get home, I can watch it or I can take the whole base and, you know, go to a friend's house or something if we want to watch movies, um, stuff like that. But, of course, I don't normally need these files. I have all my core documents on the solid state drive in here. Um, so that's convenient. But, of course, when I want to go a little further and I want to have some extra stuff, I have this. And this actually works a whole lot better than just having an external drive and taking it around everywhere. Um, you know, just because, you know, those, the fall, they fall off, they're not very secure. Uh, but this is actually very convenient. I still do have an external drive and I sort of keep this and that in sync uh, if I want to take the, the external drive to use on another machine. Uh, but this is actually extremely convenient. And I have it set up so um, when I start my computer, um, of course, Linux will try and mount the, mount the extra drive if it's available. If it's not, it just skips it. Uh, and there's a designated place it mounts and stuff like that. Um, so that's very, you know, pretty convenient. Uh, and of course, it has a, you know, the ThinkPad Ultra Base has a switch to turn off, you know, and remove it safely. So it's pretty safe at, uh, you know, um, being able, you know, you can pretty much remove it without any kind of problem. So it's extremely convenient. So the end result is I have a computer which it's a little thicker. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a thick laptop, um, but you know, it's a little thicker, but it's still ultra portable. It's still pretty light. And I can have uh, three gig or three terabytes of storage space on just this machine. Uh, so it's definitely something, you know, worth looking into. And eventually I plan on just moving to just this machine. I do have a desktop. It has actually two terabytes of storage. So, you know, less than this actually. 
Um, and I do plan on moving the moving to this as one single machine, getting rid of all my other laptops, getting rid of my desktop, and just having this. Uh, and you know, as time passes, I might, and you know, hard drive technology improves, I might get you know a five terabyte drive, or something like that. Or yeah, uh, I will say that these um, you have to be careful about the CD drive caddies. I think I forget if they're I think they're nine millimeter. Uh, I think I have a cell 7 millimeter drive right here that's in it. Uh, there are some hard drives, you got to be careful when you're buying one for these. There are some hard drives that can have like 5 terabytes or something like that, but uh, you know, they're like 15 inch or something. So just be wary about that. Do your research. Um, just know that uh, ThinkPad Ultra Bases take the ultra slim varieties of these things. Um, so, and I think the maximum right now in 2017, in current year, is 2 terabytes. So. Now I have maxed out, and in a couple years maybe I'll get another one. But uh, anyway, just this is just to show you the use of an ultra base and how you can sort of get extra stuff out of it. And it's so easy to replace and remove, and you know do all that kind of stuff with. Uh, so anyway, hope you learned something. So I'll see you guys next time.